Now the next thing is, if you guys haven't worked with Delphi before, this is the Delphi binary. I can uh, show you guys here. Embracadero, embracadero. I don't know how to say that. Yes, of course I have IDR. Yeah, for Delphi samples, it's uh, it's not a lot of fun. Usually the way I deal with this is I'll just turn off analysis when I first load it. And then I'll go to my compiler options and I'll force it to be Delphi. And they use what's called a fast call calling convention. So we'll switch this over to, to fast call. And then I re-enable the analysis. So that kind of does uh, a bit of a fix, right? So that, that kind of helps a little bit. But the real trick though is, as, as Deadman mentioned, is IDR. So I'm gonna use some IDR magic here to recover the, the statically compiled libraries. There you go. And it's basically, it's a separate tool. If you guys haven't seen this before, I, I showed it kind of quickly on a, on a stream. It might've even been a Danabot stream a long time ago. But basically what you do is just, you load up your, uh, I'll just use auto detect here. You load up your sample. Yeah, so you load up your sample here and it's going to, it basically scans it and it identifies, it uses the RTTI stuff type information. I think it uses RTTI, I'm not sure. It uses some sort of embedded meta metadata to determine which functions were part of the library code. And then you can use that to update your, your IDB. So it's gonna take a minute to run here. I don't know whether we should apply the IDR stuff first. Oh, it looks like it's done. Yeah, perfect, okay. What's this? I love to never see its source code. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Delphi bloat. Yeah, it's, it's it's quite annoying. I mean, it's if you don't have IDR, it's it's really hard. It's hard to even separate. You have to reverse a lot of library code, basically, which this will, I'll show you guys, this will avoid for you. Let's generate a map and let's generate the IDC script. What? 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 Weird. I don't know why that happened. It crashed my idea. Hmm. No, it created the script file. I don't know. Yeah, the tool's kind of janky, but no, it created a script file. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I was having a, a skill issue moment there. <laughs> Let me just close it up. No, I don't want to save the project. Okay. So now that we have that, uh, there's two different ways to apply uh, the IDR output. There's a tool from Rattle that will clean up that IDC because if you just try and run the IDC in IDA, it will absolutely f*** the IDB. Like the output of IDR is insane. So there's a tool that'll clean it up and just keep like the function definitions, which is really all you want. Or you can run uh, these nice scripts that, that Dennis has. Uh, where's his GitHub here? Yeah, so he has these nice IDC and, and map tools that you can use, which is what I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna download this. Oops, I'm just gonna download this and we'll use his tools since we're already using them for, for the Delphi cleanup. Is that big enough for you guys? There we go. Now, tools, Danabot, and then you just output to IC.py and there we go. So we now have two Python scripts that will apply this into the IDB. Can you link them in your notes? Yeah, yeah, already linked. It's already linked here. I'll also link IDR. Interactive. Delphi something, I don't know. Reconstructor. There you go. All right, so let's apply these scripts. Uh, there we go, so you see as soon as we run it, we have a lot of stuff being labeled, right? All that shit being labeled. Oh yeah. And it makes this, all of a sudden you can start to see a lot of these functions are library functions, so you don't need to reverse engineer them anymore. Super helpful. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a reminder that we are live on Sundays on Twitch. 
And if you like this kind of stuff, go check out our Patreon. We have lots more reverse engineering content, over 200 hours of live streams, as well as in-depth reverse engineering tutorials. All right, until next time, keep exposing the mechanics behind the malware. Stay curious.